I'm sort of imagining that people that haven't ever worked on a two-stroke are going to wonder, you know, like, what's a two-stroke about? What's the difference between <coughs> a two-stroke and a four-stroke? Are there even four-stroke mopeds, you know? Um, and most of the vintage ones, obviously, I think, are two-stroke. So on the, uh, on, the, on the gas oil mixer thing, is there going to be a difference between using... I mean, a lot of these bikes, if you read the manual, you know, they're like 4%. That's what's stamped right on my Peugeot. Yeah. And, uh, and that was at a time when, you know, they weren't using synthetic. Well, I think the quality of oil and the quality of gas has improved, like, dramatically over the years. Um, Some of them do say 25 to 1, yeah. 40 to 1, but nobody ever does that. Yeah, I've never run anything... I mean, 50 to 1 is pretty much everything I, how I mix it up. I'm a huge advocate for like good, like decent running really good oil and running it consistently. Um, in terms of like synthetic or not, I'm on the fence. I mean, you could sway me one way or the other. But I think most people go and they put like way too much oil in it, which is just... Actually, putting too much oil is worse than not putting enough, isn't that, isn't that correct? Yeah, and especially like bad oil too. Like a lot of people have these habits of buying like 99 cent jugs of oil from the dollar store or the gas station and it's like, it's awful. And if you've ever taken apart like a cylinder, like a top end and there's like, I mean, it's just like flaky, nasty, you know, carbon built up on the piston and um, yeah, it's totally unnecessary. And things like that, you know, just running good oil and consistent amounts of good oil. A lot of like when you fill up at the pump kind of a thing, um, you, a lot of people just kind of like, well, eh, that looks like enough. And I, you know, I have like a little bottle that I measure up to make sure that I'm putting the right amount in. I just do it at home. Or you do it at home and you never right. have to get gas when you're out, which is, yeah, another way to do it. Yeah, good oil, change your spark plugs. Spark plugs cost like two bucks. Right. New spark plug every month or something like that. So, carry a spare. Always carry a spare. Tim's I personally don't have to change. Tim's them. been there. Tim's been on the side of the road with me, just changing spark plugs many times. Yeah. If you so. tune your bike right, like me. Well, mine's tuned right now, but it was a learning experience to begin with. But I still carry plugs just in case. Like you never yeah. know. So where does somebody go if uh, they want to learn all this stuff? So they don't really have a lot of knowledge. I mean, basically, Mosquito Fleet. Check out some of the online forums. I mean, what are where where do people get that info? I always get frustrated when people come to me and they're like, I gotta get this thing running. And they kind of like, they don't, it's kind of like, like you've gotta, you have to do it yourself. And um, I can sit there and make your bike go fast and run well and be maintained, but it's not gonna last if you don't know how to do it. They're really ridiculously simple engines and anyone's capable of working on them, so. I don't really know where you get that startup information. Once you get the startup info, yeah then you can probably ride, you know, the maintenance train yourself pretty easily. Yeah. But I don't know where... You, just, you have to find someone that's, like, willing to, like, sit down with you and show you how to, like, clean the carburetor. And there's plenty of, like, resources online on, like, the Moped Army website that say, like, this is, you know, here's your moped, clean the gas tank, check your compression, you know, clean and set your points and timing, clean your carburetor. And after that, like, you do that and you have some maybe walk you through it. You kind of just have to, like go at it on your own i'd say a moped relationship is a more intimate relationship than a scooter or a motorcycle because of that thing because you're the one that knows your bike best and sure there's people around you that have the same bike that may be able to give you advice but i mean going back to that thing like you know you know what's wrong with your bike when something happens to it and so people become a uh, brand specialists and yeah. The, b the biggest cheerleaders of their brand of moped because, you know, my, my socks is good because it's so easy to work on. Well, they just spent two years figuring out how to work on yeah. it. But there was a lot of, like, sort of brand animosity for a while, like, on a, as in the whole, like, there was, like, Team Saks and Team Pook and Team Minarelli, and there's this big, like, sort of stance of people that were, like, really good with this type of bike and the pe people that are good with this type of bike and... I, I mean, never amounted to anything outside of maybe like mediocre like street races at rallies and so forth. But it's and I think it's kind of died out too to that extent. It's like there's not really that sort of hierarchical thing mm -hmm. anymore. Or people that favor it one or the other. So um, the knowledge, I'd say, the knowledge of mopeds and the sp the speed of mopeds has grown exponentially just in the last like two or three years 
Um, and why? Why do you think that's happening? Because people are like, um, I don't know, I mean, there's multiple reasons. I think people realize how cool and efficient a form of transportation they can be. Mm-hmm. Um, for anyone that lives in the city, it's, I mean, you really have to, like, argue for a better form of transportation. In I terms think it's because people are sourcing parts from Europe. Well, on that too. I mean, we're finding easier ways to get parts and a, a bigger abundance of parts. And uh, there's some people with some seriously fast mopeds. I mean, they're just like unbelievable compared to just three years ago where we'd have like 50cc races. You'll be destroyed now because some guy from like Southern California will show up and he's like eating, you know, ho hos and drinking rock stars and he gets on his bike and all of a sudden just like, bam, and it just like turns off and he's gone. It's like blazing fast. So, um, yeah, knowledge, intelligence, and parts have like increased exponentially in the last couple of years for whatever reason. Mm-hmm.